Good morning, guys. Uh, I figured I haven't shown anybody around the garden for a while, so... It is Sunday, it's beginning of April, and for being in Florida, my garden looks like shit. Um, we redid, well, I redid the grape trellis to make it more of an arch and make it vertical, and they are already growing back very well here trying to aim it um, I got some other experiments I was doing and it's not going too well on some of them because I didn't think some things through now this lovely white pipe comes from something in the house and I thought okay it dumps out you know about 50 gallons of water at a time let's make a wicking bed and use it for things that are really thirsty so you know I got corn you know try to give them enough water and beans and the one thing I didn't take into account is there's a quarter cup of vinegar that comes down that pipe or a half cup of vinegar somewhere around there for every 50 gallons of water and I didn't think about that and vinegar is acidic and it just all occurred to me, you can see the corn has all the purple and dead and from what I saw online and what I read, that has everything to do with acidic soil affecting the ability to pull up phosphorus. So I screwed up by not thinking everything through entirely clearly. Um, I've been watching a shitload of YouTube and coming up with different thoughts and ideas right there lovely six seven gallon white bucket that I have full of water and some weeds and grass clippings and I just let it soak and rot down for about a week and then I'll add it to certain things and then I'll add some more stuff to it top up the water and let it soak The potatoes aren't doing too bad. This is the same bed that I had potatoes in last time. And what I did, I added a sprinkling of ash from the fireplace. All of the cherry tomatoes that were next door in that one, I just kind of sprinkled in all the ones that just fell off. Add a little bit of compost. I added all the greens from the potatoes I pulled and then just kind of laid it over with a thin layer of compost and let it go. And then, you know, this spring, well, spring-ish, planted more potatoes and they're doing pretty well. Except I didn't have them do too well in this spot and this spot last fall and it's doing the exact same spots again, which is kind of weird. <clears throat> Finally pulled out the Brussels sprout yesterday, which still wasn't doing anything. The onions and garlic are starting to grow. This one is another one I'm experimenting with. I'm doing radishes a little bit in here. This is the first row I planted, and that's the only radish I got. And there's a couple tiny right there. But... I've been watching a lot of Hugh Richards and David the Goods channels, which I'll probably link in the description if you haven't come across them before. And David is a similar climate to me and has a interesting approach on gardening. Um, Hugh Richards is, I think, in Wales, so that's a completely different growing environment than what I have, but I'm still trying to use some of what he has learned and see if I can adapt it to work here. So last week I planted Aurora radishes and I put boards on top of them until they started germinating. These I just planted yesterday so I know they're not gonna at least yet but they will. Um, I got some green beans growing right in here they're just starting to come up I planted them a week ago the peas are not doing well, it's getting too hot. 
the tomatoes in all the cages here are not doing too well. And then last weekend, I also put carrots in this row. And I've got carrots right here underneath the boards. And I don't know if you can see that very well, but the carrots are starting to sprout. So once some more of them sprout, I'll pull the boards off and let them grow. Got the watermelon bed, that's starting to grow and do something. Onions and garlic are still going strong. But, yeah. Generally, the garden isn't doing too good. But, if I was going to show a garden that only looks amazing, I would never show a video showing the garden because the garden never looks that good. So hopefully in another month or two I can correct the situation in here. Um, we have had a lot of rain over the last week so I can't burn anything because everything I have to burn is soaking wet. So I need to be able to get a fire going and get some ash in here to try to neutralize the soil pH and see if I can salvage what I have in this bed otherwise this bed is going to be almost entirely useless to me this year so hopefully I can get that sorted out but I'm gonna go and get this video transferred to the computer and see what I can do um, the potatoes are probably gonna be done due to the heat here in another month or so so hopefully I can get something out of that maybe two months not entirely sure yet but when I get the potatoes out of them y'all will see it because <laughs> I have a couple experiments I want to try with that but I will see y'all again soon